Hey family, it's Danielle, and today I am going to share with you guys how I turned the Goose Goose Ducks Black History Activity Pack into a semester long unit study. So if you're interested in unit studies or how to turn your Goose Goose Duck Activity Pack into a semester long curriculum, then stick around for the video. The snob life. The homeschooling life. The bar life. The non-traditional life. The family life. Telling it how it is. Life outside the box. And if you don't know what that means, it's the non-traditional mommy. Bye-bye. Before we jump into this video, if you're new here, hi, welcome. My name is Danielle and I am the non-traditional mommy. And on this channel, we talk about homeschooling, parenting, marriage, and any other life topics. So if you're interested in any of that, I would love for you to join my little family and hit the subscribe button. You guys, we are almost at 5,000. We're almost there. And I have a little bet with my husband that I am gonna hit that number before the end of September. So you guys help me win this bet and join the family. To the rest of my non-traditional family, you guys are the MVPs. You're the reason that we are so close to 5,000 and I love you bunches. All right, you guys, so let's talk about this curriculum. So I did a full review over this curriculum or this activity pack that I'm gonna call a curriculum probably throughout the entire video, but I did a full review over the Goose Goose Duck activity packs. I will leave a card here and a link in the description box for you guys to go check out if you're interested in that. And basically talked about how I was going to turn another one of the activity packs into a full semester curriculum. And so that's what I've done here. I've actually stretched it out for 11 weeks, I believe, and it is going to be a unit study as well. So we're going to use it for our history curriculum, but we're also going to use it for spelling, writing, reading and language arts. So I will show you guys how I did that and all of that good stuff. The review I did was over Robert Lemons. This unit study or activity pack is actually Gwendolyn Brooks. So that's the one I will be featuring in this video today. So you guys, I have some exciting news for this video as well. The first thing is that we have a discount code that we can use over any of the activity packs. So if you guys are interested in getting your own activity pack and trying out this curriculum, which I think you should, then check out the link in the description box and use the coupon code or discount code Village MVP because we're a village and you guys are MVPs and you're gonna get 15% off of your activity pack. So again, that discount code is Village MVP, and I will leave that in the description box as well. So you guys, on top of having the coupon code, the creator of the Goose Goose Duck activity pack has generously given me a four pack activity pack set to give away to one of my lucky MVPs. So you're going to get four individual activity packs and that those four will be Robert Lemons, Garrett Morgan, Gwendolyn Brooks, and Frederick Douglass. Yay! So stick around to the end of the video and I will let you guys know what you have to do to enter into the giveaway. All right, you guys, now that we have all of that out of the way, <laughs> let's talk about what I've done. So as you guys will see, this is so simple, so easy. It is not a lot of work, not fancy and all of that good stuff. This, it just does not take a lot to lesson plan. So you guys relax, my favorite word, just relax. It does not take a whole lot. Um, what I have done is I have folders 
folders here for each of the kids. So obviously you'll need folders. That's just in general for school, homeschool, and whatever. So these are their history folders. They have folders for each subject, and these will be the ones that they will use for their goose goose duck. And I just color coordinate them so each child gets their own color, obviously their favorite color. And so these folders have all of their worksheets that we're going to use and go through throughout the semester for the activity pack. So I have those and then I have my handy dandy folder and this folder has the Gwendolyn Brooks activity pack in it that I printed out and then it has all the master copies of worksheets that I have for them and any additional worksheets that I might want to do that I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to do. So I stuck those in here if we decide if I decide to do those so that's what's in here and then this is my notebook and this is how I planned out the 11 weeks this is how I planned out the semester you guys just in a very basic simple notebook so what I did is I went through the activity pack and I looked at each activity so if you um, saw in the review I did over Robert Lemons it comes with different activities and so I took those activities and stretched them out for a full week so week one um, is the first activity and I just stretched it out so so in my notebook, I basically wrote week one and then I broke it down Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And so on Monday, the first week, we're going to introduce Gwendolyn. We're going to read information about her. I'm going to show them pictures, the corresponding video from Goose Goose Duck. We're going to read one of her poems and then just discuss other details about her. We'll do the take a closer look activity that's included with the um, Gwendolyn Brooks activity pack. And then for spelling, so this is how the unit part comes in. For spelling, our spelling word is going going to be poem and so we'll talk about what poem means and all of that good stuff and so that will be the spelling word that we go over for Monday and then each day I add a spelling word based off of something around Gwendolyn Brooks or her era or anything that we're talking or discussing and so um, that's basically how I've broke this down and then the same thing for Tuesday, we'll just recap, discuss Gwendolyn book, Brooks, show some pictures, ask some questions, discuss our spelling word that was given to them, and then I will give them a new spelling word as well. And so we'll just go through that um, day by day. And I did that for each week you guys I just literally sat down went through the activity pack and then pulled other resources in to uh, stretch out the activity for their folders all I do all I have in here is their worksheets so their worksheets that they're going to go over and do and these are in order based off of when we will get to them so that way I can say take out your folder take out your you know the first worksheet or the next worksheet or whatever and we'll go over that and then we'll file that away and go to the next worksheet on the next day and so that's based that's literally all they have in here for their folders now again for my folder I have the Gwendolyn Brooks activity pack and so like you can see here this is um, a additional worksheet it's a writing couplets worksheet and it basically has rhyming words so as we're talking about um, poems and different things like that um, I will introduce this worksheet and this will be one of the activities that they do or worksheets that they do for that particular time. Now for our language arts curriculum, we are going to be using Brave Writer. And so I am going to incorporate Brave Writer into this Gwendolyn Brooks activity pack. And the way that we'll do that is if you follow me, if you follow me on Instagram, and if you're not, you should be. 
you know that we have tea time and typically during tea time we will watch a movie and things like that well brave rider also um, encourages encourages you to do tea time so we will do tea time on tuesdays and rather than watching a movie we'll discuss a poem and so one of the poems will obviously be Gwendolyn brooks poem and we'll have the kids read them that's how we're incorporating reading. So we'll have the kid, one of the kids read the poem. We'll discuss it in detail. And then the copy work that they do writing will be of that particular poem. And then I've pulled spelling words and things, different things like that from the poems that I have printed that we're going to be discussing over the next 11 weeks. And so that is kind of how this activity pack will cross over into other um, subjects and become a full on unit study. Now it's not going to cross over into math, but again, we're covering language arts, reading, spelling, writing, that kind of thing. So um, that is how we will use Brave Writer. We'll have a movie night, which my goal is to try to find movies um, based or videos on YouTube of Gwendolyn Brooks or movies from her era or movies around her poems, just things that tie everything together. So that's how I have put this whole thing together. So just to show you guys really quickly, so let's do lesson one and I'll show you guys how I stretched it out. So lesson one is three parts, right? And so on here you have what you're going to explain. So you're introducing Gwendolyn Brooks, reading about her and all of that good stuff. So I have us doing that on Monday. So that's the first thing we're going to do is introduce Gwendolyn Brooks on Monday. Now, part one includes the take a close look pictures. The take a closer look comes with um, four different take a close look. So rather than us doing all of these on the same day, we're going to do these on separate days. So Monday we'll introduce her and we'll do take a close look activity a. And then on Tuesday, we'll discuss who she was. We'll do a recap, refresh, see what all they remember. We'll show more pictures of her. I'll ask some questions and things like that. And then we will do the detail sheet B. We'll also do spelling. We'll have our tea time where we read a poem of hers and um, discuss the poem and all of that good stuff. We'll do the copy work. All of that will happen on Tuesday. And then Wednesday, we will do the activity C. So on Wednesday, we'll do activity C. We'll once again do a refresher on details, see what they remember. We'll do more spelling. We will watch a movie or something kind of going around her, whether it's a video or a movie or something um, of that nature. And then on Thursday, we will do the final activity D. So we'll do this one along with all the other things that we've done prior. So the recap, all of that, the spelling recap and things like that. And then on Friday, we'll have our spelling test and then we will do part three of the activity pack which was um, the details in your room. So we will do part three of activity one on Friday. So that's how I've broken this activity um, or lesson one up into five days. Now, lesson one was a little easier because it did have, it was three parts. So really quick, let me find one that wasn't um, three parts and show you guys how I broke that one up. So let me see if I can find one. So lesson three, lesson three only had one activity. So it's just one sheet. So let me show you guys what I did for lesson three. So lesson three, we're gonna do in week three. So Monday I have, we're gonna introduce feelings. So lesson three is talking about uh, feelings. The content area is social, emotional learning. The skill building is self-awareness. So this lesson focuses on feelings. So on Monday, I'm gonna introduce feelings, talk about different feelings, we'll define feelings, um, 
and we'll talk about how Gwendolyn Brooks, how Gwendolyn Brooks used feelings in her poems. Um, the spelling word that we'll introduce will be feelings or feeling. So we'll do feeling and feelings, um, both the plural as well. And then the activity is going to be the filling worksheet cards. So those are in here as well. And then on Tuesday, we'll recap feelings. We'll go over our spelling word and the definition. We'll have tea time and talk about feelings. We'll read a poem surrounding feelings. And then we will do find the words, which is a crossword puzzle that I have found that we'll do. And you guys, I did use other resources and I will leave all of those um, resources linked below for you guys if you want to check them out and see them about them if you decide to get the Gwendolyn Brooks activity pack and do a unit study. So I will leave all of the um, resources that I use down below. So I found a crossword puzzle that is over Gwendolyn Brooks and so I printed that out and we're gonna do that on Tuesday. Um, Wednesday Wednesday, we're going to we'll go over another filling poem. Um, we're going to um, listen to the lovers of the poor, which is a poem by Gwendolyn Brooks. And I will leave that link below as well for you guys. We'll go over our spelling words and then um, our activity is going to be um, the think, feel, act um, worksheet that I found from another resource. And so basically that worksheet talks about how we think something, then we feel something, and then we act. And so just having the kids put together how they think, oh, they took my toy, they feel angry, and then they may take it or snatch or yell or whatever. And so I found a worksheet that breaks all of that down. So that's what we're going to do on Wednesday. And then Thursday, we're going to recap. We're going to go over our spelling. And then our activity is going to be guess the filling. So it's a charade kind of game where they're going to guess what the child is filling. And then Friday, we're going to recap. We'll have a, a quiz on Friday. We'll have a spelling test. And then because this is the third week, so every three weeks we'll do a quiz so we're going to have a quiz a spelling test and then we're going to play the feelings memory game so that's how I stretched it out you guys to make it last an entire week and just so you guys know I am using this um, activity pack for my kindergartner all the way up to my fourth grader so I will have um, nine ten eight, seven, and a five-year-old all doing this same exact activity pack. My five-year-old won't have the same spelling words. Um, his spelling words will be things like the, he, we, she, and just your basic spelling words. And I've made his list at the end of each week. So I remember what words I want him to go over and learn. And then when we do worksheets like crossword puzzles and things that are a little more advanced, he won't do those. He may do a color sheet or some type of cutout activity, um, something like that. So he um, won't do as hard of a things that the fourth graders are doing and the same for the second graders. So everybody will be um, on their grade level, but we'll all be doing the same exact activity pack. Hope that makes sense. So that's another way that you can take this activity pack and then make it go across age groups. So if you have multiple kids, I would say 10 and under, then this activity pack could work for all of the kids that you are schooling um, as well. So that's how I have taken the Goose Goose Duck activity pack and stretched it out for it to be an entire semester long. So if you guys are interested in the Goose Goose Duck activity packs, again, I will have a link below for you guys to get your activity pack. Do not forget to use our very special discount code, which is Village MVP, to get 15% off of your activity pack. Now let's talk about how you can win this four pack activity set. So to enter, you have to be an MVP. 
That's a given. You have to be an MVP. You got to be part of the family. So you need to be subscribed to this channel. Leave a comment below with your MVP trophy. Let me know that you are an MVP. Then head over to my Instagram. Find the lovely picture of this activity pack. Like that picture and then comment with your MVP trophy and tag a friend as well. Now, if your YouTube and Instagram names are different, please leave those in the comments as well. So on YouTube, make sure you leave your Instagram name and on Instagram, make sure you leave your YouTube name. So that's all you need to do to enter the giveaway. I will leave this giveaway open until Labor Day because a lot of us don't start school until after Labor Day. So I will leave this open until Sunday, September 6th, and then we will announce the winner. I will post the winner in my Instagram stories. So make sure you are following so that you do not miss if you are the winner of this four pack activity set. And again, that's going to include Frederick Douglass, Garrett Morgan, Robert Lemons, and Gwendolyn Brooks. So you will get all four of these activity packs. Yay for being an MVP. Yay, yay, yay. If you're still here, you're officially an MVP. So go ahead and join the family. Make it official. Make it official. It's like church, you know. For any of those, come down and hit the subscribe button. Join the family. Drop your trophy in the comments, letting us know you're now part of the family so we can pound you and high five you. And again, if you have not seen the review that I did over the Goose Goose Duck activity set, I will leave that video here for you as well as other videos for you to check out. To the rest of my family, I love you guys and I will see you next time. Bye.